Hello guys, it's Glermit here, and today we're going to be going over how to mod Imperial Troopers. There's a lot of videos out there guys, so I'm sure many of you have seen how to do this before. But if you haven't, hopefully you learned something today. So, what I've done is I've broken it down into some teams here, which you can see there. They're, they're kind of the teams which I suggest for Imperial Troopers, and it will go through how to mod the team and how it changes for each one. So, the most important thing is the core team of Imperial Troopers, and that is going to be Viz, Piet, Dark, and Range. They are the four which you want to stick together and stay together. They are the most important four for Imperial Troopers. Let's get into the first one here, and as we go along, there will be gameplay playing in the background. It'll kind of phase between me and, and the gameplay, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. So, the first thing is, let's take a look at Viz. Now, Viz is a good character for sure. He's fantastic. The important thing here, though, is you don't want him to be fast. A lot of people mod Viz for speed. A lot of people mod him for speed and health. A lot of people just put speed on him, and I just don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know, and it, it, it makes me crazy. What you want with Viz is you want slow but strong mods. And let me just show you what I've got. And yes, these need six dotting. But if we look, we've got offense primary, crit damage primary, offense primary. And some of these have no speed, and that is absolutely fine, guys. You don't want your Imperial Troopers to be like 300 speed, 290 speed, 280 speed, 270 speed. Because one, you're being very wasteful with your mods, and, and mods need to be spread about, guys. You don't want all your best mods on one team. And secondly, you don't actually gain anything from that. And the reason is, every time you get a kill, you're gaining 50% turn meter. Every time you gain a kill, you're also gaining an extra 10% turn meter because of the offense up you gain. So there's 60% turn meter. Now, on top of that, every time you take a turn, which you will when you take when you get a kill, is also going to give you an additional 10% turn meter because of Emperor's Trap, which is a buff. So you're actually gaining 70% turn meter on a kill. So what's the point in modding all your Imperial Troopers to be uber fast when they're going to get the job done without it? Every time an Imperial Trooper takes a turn, you're gaining a 10% turn meter. And let's just be important with this. Say Dark Trooper double taps, or say Range calls an assist, that is another 10% turn meter. Because every time you do an action, you're gaining a stack of Emperor's Trap. So that is why you don't actually want all your Imperial Troopers to be very, very fast. And I hope that is something you guys take from this video. My Viz is really, really slow. That is fine. He always takes a turn. And you will see throughout the video and all the gameplay I've got in the background, you will see that he takes a turn no matter what. And most of the time, he's actually going to be the one to finish it off. And next up, we have Piet. And Piet is so important, guys, because he's giving that stack of Emperor's Trap. And every time an Imperial Trooper takes a turn afterwards, they are gaining 10% turn meter. So you want him going first. That's, that's basically it. You want him to be very fast. Mine actually isn't, funny enough. He, he's not too slow, but he's also not very fast. And I'll explain why this doesn't matter too much throughout the video here. So, yeah, mine is about 298 speed. And that works for me. Um, the way it works is... You have the base speed with the mods, and then you have Veer's lead, which is another 20 speed. So my Piet is actually at 318. Is it going to be beating those 350 speed Darth Revens? Yes, it is. And uh, <laughs> funny story that we'll get down to that in a moment. So as we continue on, I just wanted to touch a little bit on Gideon. Some people may use him. I use him on one of my smaller accounts because he's my best Imperial Trooper. Why would I not use him? But later game, Gideon's good with anyone. Vader, Lord Vader, just standard Empire, Tarkin, just random teams. I mean, you could put Gideon in any team just to get the TM removal. So I prefer to save him and actually use him elsewhere. But if you want to use him in this lineup, then just make sure he is your fastest character. So it goes Gideon, Piet, and then so on. Next up, we have Death Trooper, and now I don't really use him in this lineup, but I know some of you will, and the reason I don't use him is because there is a little someone called Aiden who requires Death Trooper, <laughs> and they're too good not to use them with. So, if you're using Death Trooper, mod them for crit damage, crit chance, offense, all of those fun things. They are really nice to have, and the reason being, once you get that first kill, they are then going to death mark someone with their special. 
and with Deathmark you're guaranteeing you get the next kill again. So if you're going up against a tough team, and I think one of the clips playing actually had Death Trooper and showed this in action, but if you're going up against a tough team with high relics, being able to apply the death mark is very, very helpful because it's going to guarantee you get the kill and you get that 70% time meter back again. Next up, we have the final team, and my favorite team is the one I use all the time. So if you watch the streams, you will know that I use this lineup all the time, and it's with Wat Tambor. Just scrolling up so you guys can actually see the team there. And yeah, Wat Tambor is fantastic, and if you want to know why, it's because he's guaranteed to go first with the Zeta. And what he'll do is when he goes first, he basics, and the basic will apply two heal over times, and each of those counts as an individual buff. So he's giving 20% turn meter turn one. So my 318 speed Piet would actually be outspeeding those 340 and 350 Darth Revens, which is fantastic. And then the next thing is everyone gains this 20% turn meter. And then on top of that, as soon as Piet takes the turn, everyone's gaining another 10% turn meter. So the turn meter train can start very easily. Like I said, guys, the core team is important, but the rest of them, you can mix and match them as much as you like. Now, in terms of the actual modding, you're going to want Veers to be very, very slow, very, very high damage. You want Piet to be very, very fast. Now, if you can get him fast with offense sets or crit damage sets, that's great. Do it. But if you can't, use a speed set. And on the secondaries, we are looking at potency, tenacity, or health. I prefer tenacity. Some people prefer potency. It just really depends on you. Dark Trooper, and I'm going to flick this over so you guys can actually see my screen here instead of the gameplay. My Dark Trooper is modded for offense and tenacity, and the reason being, I don't want him to get dazed. Now, the interesting thing here, right, guys, is Dark Trooper, some people will be like, ah, oh, mod him really slow, it doesn't matter. I actually like having a bit of speed on Dark Trooper. And like you can see here, he's actually at 264, which is plus 85 speed. And the reason why I find this to be very important is just on the off chance you're not guaranteed those kills, you can do the TM move instead. If Dark Trooper goes last, it's not really going to be the best for you there. The other thing is, if we're talking about speeds, now the way the speeds are calculated is you do 0.8 times the speed of the guy who went before. If Piet is 318 speed, after calculating the lead speed, you want your Dark Trooper to be 0.8 times that speed. Now, if he's just slightly above, it doesn't matter. But as long as he's not below that threshold, he's always guaranteed to take that turn. And like we said earlier, um, we want Veers to go last because of the AoE. And the important thing there is the AoE is actually doing reduced damage, 40% less damage. So by the time that he, you know, by the time he takes a turn and uses it, you're going to have enough damage increases that that won't actually do anything. On top of that. A ranged trooper also has an assist. So what I like to do is Piet, then Dark Trooper, then Range Trooper, and then Veers, so that the two people who call assists are actually getting more value for it. So yeah, speed on Dark Trooper is actually not too bad. Just make sure you have an offense error. And and remember guys, you don't need these exact speeds. You don't need these exact speeds. What you need is 0.8 times whatever you have. There's no point in you modding for what I have. If you only have a 300 speed Piet, you mod for 0.8 times that. If you have a 250 speed Piet, you mod for 0.8 times that. And remember guys, if you have Wat Tambor, you can make that 250 speed Piet into a 280 or a 290 speed. So that is why Wat Tambor is crucial. Next up, we have Range Trooper, and we have spoken about Range Trooper already. I like to mod them for offense and tenacity. That's what I mod them for. They are a very, very slow character, so they will need reasonably good mods to ensure they take their turn, and they fit the criteria of the speed. As we can see here, my range trooper is 237 speed, which is 110 additional mod speed, and the important thing here is they are still in that 0.8 times speed bracket, which is from Dark Trooper. So Dark Trooper is going to go second, range trooper will almost always go third, and that is what we want to happen here. Next up, we have Stark and uh, Stark is an interesting character I don't particularly use him but he is nice because of that defense penetration I actually like to use him in an item team but if you want to use him in this team make him one of the faster characters I would say make him faster than Dark Trooper but that is up to you 
As long as range and veers go last, it does not matter, guys. In terms of modding, though, crit damage, crit chance, offense, any of those, if you really want to use speed, use speed, but the idea and the thing I'm trying to get across here, guys, is when you're modding your account, you don't want all your best mods to be on one team. It just doesn't make sense. It's not, you know, viable long term. You know, if you've got plus 150 speed on three Imperial Troopers, your other teams are going to be missing out big time. So why not just mod them efficiently and effectively? And as long as you follow this guide from this video, you're going to save up and free up some of those mods. You know, you could have had a plus 100 speed on Veers at the start of today. And now you've got plus 10, plus 15, but he's still doing just as well. And then you can move those mods around and make other characters better. And finally, we have Wat Tamble. And yeah, guys, we've discussed it already. Now, in terms of modding, it doesn't really matter, guys. You can go in with no mods, you can go with some mods. As long as he has that Zeta, he's going first and getting the train going. I hope you've enjoyed this series as well. This is a new series that I'm trying to make where I go through teams and modding. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And here's a question for you guys still watching. What team would you rather see next? Would you rather see a Jedi team? modded or would you rather see an Iden team modded let me know in the description which team would you rather see next thank you all for watching my name is glermit and i'll see you all next time